How you guys doing? This is Andrew again from Advanced PCs. All right, so in this in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can locate your Outlook data file or PST file. Uh, essentially, this is just your personal personal file folder, and in your Outlook data file, uh, essentially it it has all your contacts, all your emails, um, your calendar that you stored uh, using using Outlook over a period of time. Right, so let me show you where you can go to locate this file in the event you need to transfer it to like a new machine uh, or something of that nature. You just need to back that file up, okay? All right, so you just go to Windows Explorer and you want to go to the C drive. And on the C drive, you want to go to users and you want to look for your user profile, okay? Once you're in your profile, here's the tricky part. PST file is located in, in a hidden folder, so you wanna you wanna enable or show hidden files and folders. And let me show you how you do that. And, and th these are the these are the steps for Windows Seven as well as Windows Eight. Okay. Normally, by default in Windows Seven, this is what you're gonna see. Okay. So one way to get to that or to show hidden files is you wanna go to Organize, then you wanna go to Folder and Search Options. And then you present it with the folder options menu here. And then you want to go to view. And under view, you want to select this radio button, show hidden files, folders, and drives. However, I'm not going to check that right now because this is one way of doing it. I'm going to show you the other way on how you can do that. Okay, so we're going to cancel out cancel out of that. Now for the for the old school folks that likes to that are accustomed to seeing like the menu bar, this is how you get the menu bar. So you, you would go to organize and you go to layout. Okay, on the layout, you're gonna be presented with menu bar, and then you're just gonna select menu bar, and the menu bar shows up. Now, in older versions of Windows, this is exactly what you would see. You would have file, edit, view, tools, help, all that good stuff. So you just go ahead and click on tools, and then you go to folder options. See, we got the same folder options uh, window. So go ahead and click on view. Now you wanna go to where it says you want to select this radio button just like I said before. Select, say apply, and okay. Now, when you when you go back to your profile, you notice something a little something that's new that's appeared. App data. This is a hidden folder, and this is under. You know it's a hidden folder because you know it's light in color in comparison to the other folders. So go ahead, double click on that. Okay. Then you want to go to local. Okay. Then you want to go to. Microsoft and under Microsoft you want to look for Outlook okay now this is where um, the 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 PST file will be located but because like I said you know before I really don't use Outlook and I just really created this account just for demonstration purposes um, there you know there is not much data that was gathered with an Outlook um, for it to create like a, a data file okay so let me just kind of show you an example of what and a PST file or Outlook data file looks like. Okay, let me just go to a client's of mine whose um, information I had uh, or whose data file I had backed up. Okay, so all right, so under here, this is where this is exactly what it'll look like. The icons will be different, you know, depending on what version of Office you're running. I'm running Windows Office. 2013 so the you know the icon is going to look like that but if it's uh you know if you're running 2007 or 2010 it's going to look different but it's pretty much the same and as you can see if you hover over it it's uh this is almost this is four gigs basically all right so these can get pretty large in size depending on how long you've been using outlook and all that good stuff okay so that's how you locate your um the data file slash pst file in outlook in the event that you want to you want to transfer or back it up okay so that pretty much wraps up this video um, if you happen to have any questions please free f feel free to leave comments below I apologize my screen just went crazy a while ago my apologies leave your comments below um, 
uh, share, like. We love to hear from you. Your feedback is always welcome. And I'll always uh, also subscribe. Um, you can also reach out to us at www.advanced-pcs.com. And once again, this is Andrew from Advanced PCs. And at Advanced PCs, we keep it simple. Take care, guys. Thank you.